all right guys here's the deal I want my own stage I want to be playing on it in less than a month and I want to be completely self-sufficient this summer Alright guys, look, I've been a blue collar working class musician for almost my entire adult life. I like to think that I've done my absolute best to make the music scene in Ottawa better. Uh, over the last five years I've been heavily involved in booking and I've been very happy to be in the position to secure work for as many musicians in Ottawa as I can, as well as put on some really nice corporate parties and weddings. Uh, in addition to playing with groups, I've done sound and lighting for bands over the years as well. If you're a fan of my channel, you recall last summer when I found this uh, tent trailer converted it to a side stage mixing shelter and did an entire music festival all on my own which was a huge step for me as I've never done anything like that before <laughs> And now, uh, we need to take the next step here. We need to keep moving forward and growing. I can't just keep doing the same thing over and over that I've been doing for years and staying in the same place. We have to get to the next level here. The next level for me is owning my own stage and doing my own festivals and concerts, completely self-sufficient, uh, owning every piece of equipment. Production company would be entirely mine. Uh, complete artistic freedom to do what I want, uh, how I want to do it, because I have a very particular way that I like to uh, do things. Uh, so that is the way forward for you Ottawa Scotty. There is a unique set of uh, skills at play here and I'd like to uh, smash them all together and we're going to create something together that is going to be completely unique. All right, guys, every time you go to a outdoor music festival, the stages that you're looking at are actually trailers. And the trailer you're looking at here is a stage line SL100. This is my absolute dream to own this exact stage. Uh, they are actually made in Canada. Uh, the factory is about three hours from my house. And during COVID, I had the extreme privilege of visiting the Stage Line factory and getting a tour. Um, and I was just absolutely blown away at the, at the build quality of these stages. They're the world's leading manufacturer in mobile stage trailers. As you can see here, just everything folds, folds up and folds out on hydraulics. Uh, there are a lot of these stages all over the planet. Uh, there are a lot in the United States of America. As a matter of fact, every time you go to a, um, an outdoor music festival in the United States, uh, there's a 90% a chance that the stage that you're looking at is a stage line stage. Uh, now, these are very, very expensive. I believe worth every single penny, but extremely expensive. And even if I were, was able to afford one of these stage trailers, I would need a also need to invest in a proper vehicle to tow it with. Uh, just very expensive. Uh, the next clip that you're gonna see here is of me and the boys playing at the Orleans uh, Beer Fest. And I am playing on this exact stage, this uh, stage line SL100. So we'll just uh, take a quick look at this real quickly here. Make you say 
Okay guys, so of course there are some cheaper options for mobile stages. Here's one made in Germany by a company named Lumex. I don't know how I would get that to Canada. Here is a really nice uh, little mobile stage by an American company named uh, Wenger. I hope I'm not I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. This is a Wenger Showmobile. These have been made since the 60s, I think. And uh, here's a really nice little stage right here. Both of these Wenger Showmobiles were for sale at auction. Of course, I missed the auction and I don't have a vehicle to tow these. I don't know how, how I would get the stages back to Canada and it's just too expensive. It's, it's too much money to invest right now. Um, and so we got to go a different route here, but uh, very nice little stages. Okay, now here's something interesting. I almost bought this trailer last summer. This is an old horse derby carnival okay. game trailer. So, um, and one side of it an opens stuff. hydraulically. You've seen these trailers at uh, carnivals where they have various games in them and um, prizes and all that kind of stuff. But this one here is really old, and you can see here there's somebody's welded like a travel trailer a tongue onto the frame here. It just uh, just looks cobbled together, and body's in poor condition. It's rusty. Uh, it was just sketchy, and the kid wanted five grand for this thing. I offered him uh, fifteen hundred bucks. And he um, thought so it was worth a lot of money. Um, maybe here, it is, maybe it isn't. This whole side here this opens up, here. flips up. And um, yeah, you can see all okay. the old horse games left in, in here. Sorry for the camera work. I was here. never planning on posting this. This was just for my own memory of whether or not I want to buy this thing or not. I did make him an offer of 1500 bucks for this, but it was in rough shape. Like the axles would have been, need to be replaced. It's, it's a very high trailer, high and narrow and long, and uh, seems really sketchy to tow this thing down the road. I don't have a proper vehicle for towing something like this either. This idea kind of went out the door as well, but I, if I had been able to get this trailer for 1500 bucks, I would have, I would have bought it and then renovated it and turned it into a mobile stage. But uh, that didn't work out. The kid wanted just way too much money for this. That was on to the uh, next, next idea. And we'll, we can go from there. I, I may or may not offer you more if he offers you more, but yeah. uh, 1500, that, that uh, that's what what I'm offering now no. and then we'll just go from there okay that sounds good for with you sounds absolutely okay good. okay awesome I'm sorry that uh, it's not uh... no it's all right so this is my next idea I sort of figured well it would be best to incorporate the tow vehicle and the stage into one vehicle it makes sense to buy a box truck and convert it into a mobile stage it's been done before many times uh, and been done very well actually now my main problem with this was that I just couldn't find a an example of a cube truck that was cheap enough that I feel good about cutting into it into the box that was in good good enough shape I'm actually really glad I didn't buy this that this had some engine issues and it's a uh, turbo diesel I don't know a lot about diesel engines uh, or turbos for that matter I'm very good with just your jelly bean GM motors and, and transmissions they're easy to work on I understand them so it was leaking oil and I didn't really know where the oil was coming from it looked to me like it might have been coming from one of the turbos so I, I, I steer clear of this also the main roadblock for this idea was the insurance I was just about to buy this truck and and my insurance company said that because I don't have two years driving a box truck, they had to charge me more. It was going to cost about $9,500 per year to insure this, which is more than the price of the truck. So that pretty much shot this idea dead in the water. On to the next thing. So the uh, does the, the loading ramp works? Yes. Okay. I told you what my plans were. Yeah, you're going to turn it into a mobile stage? Yeah, yeah. So... Um, the reason why I'm interested primarily in this uh, box truck is r really the, uh, the height of the box. Yeah, exactly.
have to keep an eye on Zoe. Zoe, come here. Come on. No, she goes over to the neighbor's house and eats the garbage. Zoe, come here. No. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. I know what you're going over there for. No. Okay, good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Hmm? <laughs> you want to eat the garbage, don't you? You trying to eat the garbage? I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> you're trying to eat garbage again, aren't you? Trying to eat garbage. I know you. I know you. I know you. I know what you're about. <laughs> Who's a good little girl, though? Who's dad? He's a little garbage eater. Who's dad? He's a garbage eater. Hmm? Cut the grass. <laughs> show you guys what I got here. So yeah, like I said, it's a few days after. <laughs> and it's always still still going. Playing in the grass. So here we are, here's the tent trailer, just got her cranked up a little bit here, and here we are, this is what I got, it's a 16 stage sections, they are 8 feet long and 2 feet wide, the outer, I'm not sure what the brand of this is, but um, they, this, they do need some work, as you see they're kind of fairly beat up, they, they've been in a school, so they need to be sanded and painted um, and probably a lot of this metal just needs to be like straightened out and stuff uh, two of these sections are um, shorter because they're stairs so there's two stairs to get up onto the stage so I think I can make a fairly oh there she goes she's Zoe let's go Come on, come on, Zoe, over here now. Pretending like you're just doing nothing. I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. You're gonna getting into Uncle Andre's garbage again. I know what you're doing. I know, I figured you out. Okay. Come on. Zoe, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Thank you so much.